Today I was sent a 17 inch MacBook Pro for repair. It is a 820-2914. If we turn it on, the Chipmunk USB tester is happy. The Mac turns on. I've connected an external hard disk. It is trying to boot. It is booting. The chipmunk is happy, but it's running super, super slow. The other issue is that the green light on the charger stays green. It does not go orange, so it is not charging the battery, or it's not liking the battery, or it's not seeing the battery. We'll have to explore. I've opened up the Mac, turned it on. And as you see on the battery port tester that I have connected, the Mac is not charging the battery. The battery port tester needs the power from the battery port to run. So none of the lights are showing up anything. In this case, we can connect it to a Medusa for power, or you could use the DCN jack and connect it to a power supply that would do the same thing. But here I have a Medusa handy, so I'm going to use that. The battery port tester, or the known good battery, which is the new name for the same thing, it blinks six times. Six blinks on the I squared C bus error light means that the data line of the I squared C bus is stuck high. The, the tester tries to pull that line down, but for some reason it's not going down. That would explain why there's no communication with the battery going on. When there's no communication with the battery, then the Mac does not try to charge it. So that would explain why the battery that the customer mounted is doing absolutely nothing. This is our situation in the Mac. Our known good battery is connected here to the battery port on the motherboard. The battery indicator light plugs into the little port here. So you always wanna disconnect that whenever you're having problems on the I squared C bus because the, your problem could be here. On a loose motherboard, it's disconnected all the time, of course, obviously. On the motherboard, there are a few things, not many, but a few things on the I squared C bus. You have the ISL in charge of the charging and the SMC, which does a lot of internal housekeeping. It controls the fans, it monitors the, uh, the charging of the battery, uh, it keeps track of all sorts of temperatures. For example, it is the SMC that goes nervous if it cannot read the temperature somewhere including inside the battery and it will run the fans at full speed now initially what we have is that the known good battery is complaining that the data line is being pulled high it's, it is always pulled high by these resistors which are only 2k each but in this case it is being pulled high much harder so either these resistors are shorted or there is a problem in the SMC or there's a problem in the ISL. I measured the resistors between the 3.42 volts and, and, the, and the data line and they measure 2K. So it's not caused by the resistor being shorted. So step one, we take out the ISL and hope that our problem is there. I choose to go for the ISL first because it's easier to replace than the SMC. Now I have removed the ISL from the board. It's just parked to the side for the time being. The known good battery is connected. It's connected to a Medusa. And the board is powered from MagSafe. 
As you see now, the Medusa is showing much happier information from the no good battery. It is saying it doesn't see the ISL. Well, no surprises there. It likes the system presence resistor, that's good. It's saying the I squared C bus is actually working and there's no battery voltage, so it's not, it's not trying to charge, but due to a lack of the ISL, that's not very surprising either. With a little bit of luck, the ISL is our culprit. The data line of the I squared C bus is no longer stuck high, so at least we solved that. Next step is to replace the ISL and see if the whole machine starts working again. Now I replace the ISL. The known good battery seems to say that AC OK is present and it sees the ISL, so that's good news. The charger light is green. Now I'm powering both from the power supply and the MagSafe. But rather more worrying is that the SMC light is not blinking. So I fear that we have to say the SMC is dead, which makes sense because somebody zapped the I squared C bus, probably by connecting the battery in the wrong way. And they probably put the battery voltage across the data line of the I squared C bus, which at least fried the ISL, but probably also fried the SMC. Normally we should see the SMC light blink. Yeah, the SMC light blinks whenever the known good battery sees that the SMC is talking to the, to the battery. But no blinks now, so that's a very bad sign. Now that the ISL has been replaced, the battery port tester is a lot happier. It can now drive the bus itself. It can speak to the ISL. So the bus is working, but the lack of the SMC led blinking means that the SMC is not talking to the battery. What probably went wrong is that the battery voltage got put on the data line. That will fry the ISL, but that might fry the SMC as well. So the next step is to replace the SMC. Now I've also swapped the SMC. So with a little bit of luck, we should see the SMC talking on the I squared C bus and we hope the I squared C bus is happy as well. Okay, power. Yeah, and the blue light of the SMC is blinking. So the SMC is actually talking to the known good battery. And the known good battery is saying it sees the ISL and it sees uh, AC OK. And we get a green blinking light on the USB tester, so the processor is running. So it looks like we solved the problem. And now that we have replaced the SMC, we see the, the blinking light for the SMC on the known good battery. So we know that the SMC has come to life and is actually communicating with the battery. So it looks like we fixed it now. I hope this video explained to you a little bit about how the known good battery can save you a lot of time while repairing. It gives you insight into what is happening on the I squared C bus. In this particular case, it revealed to us that the ISL was pulling the data line high. And because of that, there was no communication going on. But even after replacing the ISL, then we saw that the communication was back there, the I, I squared C bus was working. But even then we saw, because the SMC LED was not blinking on the known good battery, we knew that the SMC was not working. So now that we replaced both of them, the whole Mac has come back to life again. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. 
please subscribe to our YouTube channel.